Hey Togafoods, my name is Shifty and welcome back to my channel for another episode of my sim series, Inheritance. So first and foremost, before we get started with today's episode, I would like to say thank you guys so much for getting the video to, as I'm recording this right now, 18k views. I am just beyond grateful because I don't think I've ever had a first episode Let's Play hit that many views and you guys are so sweet in the comments and you guys really delivered when it came to suggesting names. So thank you, thank you so much for all of that and I also want to do comment of the day for this series and today's comment comes from, I believe it's pronounced Morgan Midnight 5500. I'm so happy to have you here and it's it's really a blessing to start meeting so many new faces i think when i realized that my video was reaching this many people that i would be meeting a lot of you guys for the first time so thank you thank you for checking out my channel morgan i hope that you had fun binge watching and i'm excited to get started with this story too and thank you for taking note to all the tiny details i love i love tiny details <laughs> But I'm excited to get started with this episode because guys, as y'all can see, we have someone in bed with Rory. This is Rory's boyfriend, Van. He actually is going to be staying with her for the weekend because they've been texting about ranch life. They've been talking about how busy she's been. And he also is like, he's curious as like, is it really this complex? And he also just wants to help her. Um, so he flew in last night and he brought her a bottle of wine and a box of chocolates. He was just like, let me let me treat her because I know it's been a while. So he brought some Chardonnay and some Forever Rocher. Forever Rochers. How do y'all say this? For I've heard people say Forever Rocher and Ferrer, Ferrero Rocher. It's I think it's Ferrero. <laughs> But anyway, um, he brought her some gifts because he was like, you know, she needs she needs a treat. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wake Rory up because her alarm has already been going off, but she missed Van so much. She stayed in bed and she made sure that she got to cuddle and she's like, I got to get up, babe. The, the animals need me. And he's like, okay, um, just give me a few more minutes. Now, if he actually lived here, I would hope that he knew that you can't sleep in when you live on the ranch you just gotta get up and you gotta get to work um so i always give rory privacy because i also use a reshade that kind of shows the silhouette of her body so if you guys wonder why i turned the camera that is why but she is excited because while van is here as i mentioned he's gonna be helping out on the farm but we're also um we're gonna rent a horse and he's gonna go riding with her he's never been on a horse before i think i mentioned it in the last episode he's from the suburbs <laughs> so he is never done anything like that and I think it'll be really interesting to see how he responds um and then also it is night on the town as well so it's gonna be fun I think that we're gonna get out together and we're gonna go ride that mechanical bull a lot of you guys really liked the mechanical bull it's one of my favorites and again I am so shocked that we didn't get one with this pack because I think that it would have been very fitting but Rory took note of the gifts on here and she's feeling super flirty because she's just so blown away with how sweet this man is like how could she have gotten so lucky in college to meet someone who cares so much for her um but she just finished her bowl of cereal so we're gonna go get dressed and we're gonna head out we have so many things to do today we have to do laundry we got to tend to the animals i think that we also might have to take the dog on the walk because she's been kind of sad so i just want her to feel better because <laughs> i think she's missing her owner dogs really you don't think that they would but they do show um, grief after losing an owner that's been taking care of them for a while so um, there is that oh wow our laundry basket is so full we have to do laundry so um, let's go ahead and put this in the washing machine and I'm gonna help Rory out and get her oh she picked it up herself never mind she's self-sufficient <laughs> but I didn't know our basket was that full so she's gonna go ahead and apply these in here and we're gonna wash our laundry and I did go ahead and pick names for the animals like I said you guys left so many good ones it was really hard to decide but i'll have the names pop up on the screen right now and the people who suggested them let me also tell you guys so i decided to go with the name chai chai is a little turd he is a turd <laughs> he has given my girl so many problems it's unreal it's so unreal and also guys i did lock these gates but somehow these little animals have been getting out i don't know if like my game is bugged if something's messing with it but this gate is locked and they get out and this is as far as they get like this one ends up 
stopping them. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is a turd for sure. He has ran away, I think twice already and he has come back, but I think that Chai is here to stay now. I think Chai is feeling really comfortable here on the, on the ranch with, um, with Rory. <laughs> look guys, look, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't tell you how they escape. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I feel like Van is going to hear all the animals outside. He is like, what is all this noise? Um, he's not offended or anything, and he's not mad, but he is just like, goodness, this is what she's been waking up to every day. The animal's just talking outside. <laughs> um, but he's got to pee. And I really don't think that there's any point in him getting a shower right now because, like I said, he's going to get grimy coming out here. Um, now, I did not get him any outfits picked out. So we're just going to pretend that Rory picked him out an outfit. Maybe she went shopping for him and got him some ranch appropriate clothes. But we're just going to hop on into create a sim and give him some new outfits. Rory called Van out here and she's like, you look so cute. And he's like, thank you, babe. You know, I've never worn this much denim in my life, but <laughs> I'm glad I look appropriate. And she's like, yeah, so how about you get started on cleaning out Cookie's bed? I'll take care of the sheep. Um, you just really have to make sure it's clean because if it's not, it it upsets him. So make sure you take care of cleaning his, his stable. I did it a lot as a kid and I just want to make sure that he's comfortable and make sure you do it right because cookie's my horse and he's like babe of course i'm gonna take care of your horse now i don't know how well this is gonna go for him because like i said he is very very new to this and you know she's like if you need help just just call i'm gonna be taking care of the sheep <laughs> um so we have poof who we have to clean up here so let's actually go get poof cleaned oh my gosh look <laughs> they're so cute poof's a little mad right now so we're gonna tend to poof and um i think that chai is doing okay let me check down here and take a look yeah chai is doing fine also i will have to mention that i was having a brain fart when i was playing last time and i recorded for you guys and i was like i don't know how to locate the animals i completely i don't know if it's like when you're streaming and recording that you just forget how to play your game <laughs> but i completely disregarded the fact that i could just lock on to the animals this way um so i have been doing that again <laughs> i think i just like like i said i forgot um but if we look here we can also see how they're doing so it seems like everybody's happy and fed um they are ready for milking and they're also ready for shearing Woo, y'all van is sweating out here he is stanky he's got the stank cloud following him he is like oh my god i don't know how she does this it's scorching out here um but she told him to milk chai but to milk chai he has to have a better relationship but it seems like after petting him that he's able to go ahead and milk chai but look at van he is on his knees and he is getting down in the dirt he smelled himself he's like oh my god i stink <laughs> Um, but he's, he will do anything to make it less stressful on Rory. So he's doing really good. It's driving him mad to be this smelly, but yeah, he's just going to keep it up. Now he's also going to milk the cow and clean the shed and also refill the feed over here. And I think that Rory is just getting entertainment out of watching him do this because she's really just been standing over here. Um, but yeah, as I said, we're going to be renting a horse today and we're gonna get van on the horse actually we might do that tomorrow because it's night on the town and i think that they could really use a date night it's been about a week 
and a half since Rory has seen him. And so, you know, they need that personal time together because long distance relationships are really challenging, especially for couples who have never experienced it before. And they go from spending every day together to like no time at all. Um, oh my gosh, Sadie, why are you dirty, honey? What happened? Sadie has been acting out a lot. And like I said, I think it's from the fact that she's missing Aileen, Aileen being Rory's grandmother. Um, so I think that we're going to have to spend a little bit more time with Sadie because she's really struggling with this loss. And you know, it's understandable. Like I said, I expect it to be that way. Um, just because Sadie was on her own for such a long time and then Aileen came around and it was just a change for her um but it looks like our laundry's done so we're actually gonna take these and hang them up on the clothesline I'm gonna be real with you guys I haven't used the clothesline since laundry day came out <laughs> I think is what it was was it yeah it's laundry day I haven't used it since the pack came out and so I just never see a use in it because yo I'm being honest I, I really just prefer throwing it in the dryer but so Rory just finished hanging up her clothes and her mom texted her and she said honey I need to see your face I've been so worried about you please call me so she's gonna have a chatty family call with her mom and just check in she's like I can't do I can't do a video chat mom you know the service is bad out here and I'd be so choppy you wouldn't even be able to see me I'd be so pixely um so we can just talk on the phone and just catch up and she's talking about how her sister wants to come out here one day because she misses her so much before her sister was only like an hour away but now she's quite a few hours away and it's just driving her insane and she's like yeah mom but can you picture reagan here on the ranch with me <laughs> it'd be a little strange wouldn't it? it how would she handle it and she's like she'd be fine just please make a day where your sister can come down there and be with you um but yeah she'll get around to that now van is losing his marbles i'm not saying that he's soft or anything and he can't handle this but it's just different he is so ready to get in the shower He's telling um, Rory to come over here. He's hollering for her because he is intimidated by this big cow. And she's like, oh my gosh, Bessie. I love the name Bessie. As you guys could see in the beginning when I popped it up on the screen, a lot of people suggested this name and I guess it's like a common cow name. <laughs> and I absolutely am in love with this. I, I love the name suggestion. It's very fitting. Um, but he's just about done cleaning her and then I want him to milk her and he can finally get his well-deserved shower he is thinking about this more than he has ever thought about a shower before he's like babe do you smell me <laughs> a steak i smell so bad um she's like just just milk her just milk her <laughs> she's trying to tell him to hurry up oh my god mom's trying to call back we'll we'll talk later mom i promise she's like whoa you really do stink <laughs> she's like something about you being a ranch guy is like mm, it's a little it's a little sexy <laughs> And he's like, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, I, I milked the cow. We're good. I'm going to go get in the shower, okay? <laughs> um, just get dressed, and that way we can go get something to eat because I'm starving too. <laughs> Rory and Van just got to the bar, and don't they look so cute? Van can't take his eyes off of Rory. He's like, babe, you look you look like you're ready to go to the rodeo. You look good. She's like, I know. You like this skirt? I've been trying to embrace the style here. And he's like, yeah, you're really, you're really doing it. And they're just sitting here flirting, having small talk. We ordered some rum and coke, so I'm going to have a drink of that, and Van's going to drink his as well. And he's just telling her, he's like, you know, we got to get a picture before I leave. You look so cute. And my mom's not going to believe that we were dressed the part down here. She's like, of course, anything for you, babe. He's just enjoying this. He hasn't even touched his drink yet, but you know, he just missed her so, so much. Now, this lady is here again. Juniper comes here every single night, but it seems like she's doing a little bit better and she's in better spirits this time. Last time we saw her here at the bar, she was a little sad, but she seems to be happier. But Juniper seems like she's doing a little bit better. She comes here quite often and that is because Aileen and her used to come here every single night. It was the place that she actually was asked to be Aileen's girlfriend. They were sitting near the fire and then they ended up kissing underneath the stars near the string lights. And I think that she comes here just because it has such a fond memory and strong presence on her heart so she really loves this place um but it looks like these two they just can't stop catching up he's feeling so flirty i think it's the outfit that's doing it for him um but let's take a sip of this drink because i need to get them on the dance floor rory is ready to do the
the cowpoke dance <laughs> with him and he's like you have to teach me because i know nothing you know nothing about this dance rory was dying to see van do the cowpoke dance so she's going to explain it to him and it looks like he's picking up on it pretty easily and pretty quickly he's like oh yeah this is easy i think i saw this in a country music video once this is like a really famous dance right and she's like well i mean it's famous here my grandma taught me how to do it and we used to come and we dance all the time and we do it in the kitchen it's just it's very popular here but he picked it up so effortlessly and i also love van because they match each other's energy they're both very outgoing they love having fun and when they go out together it's just like going out with your best friend you know going out to the club just having a good time so they're enjoying this i love the attire too i definitely want to get a selfie of them before they leave the only thing that sucks is that van has to return sunday morning to go back to his normal routine um but we are going to convince him i think to get on this mechanical bull so rory's like babe you gotta go over there and try that like i tried it last time when i was here and i was a little drunk so it was hard for me but you know i think you could do it i think that you can handle it um so i think that we're gonna wait our turn because this lady's gonna get on it first but before we do that let's actually get a selfie together because like i said they look so cute and he wants to send this to his mom and just show him that rory and him would dress the part for this big town here so let's get a selfie together oh my god i can't they look so cute and their hats match i think that she did that intentionally they got the same hats on oh my god these poses if you guys are curious about the poses i use custom poses my friend ocean actually did a video on this and i'll have her video down in the description for you guys to check out that way you guys can get these for yourself as well i think she uses a different pose set but um yeah they're all by the same creator i believe so i'll leave it down below for you guys to check out they're so cute and they definitely make it a little bit more personal than the poses that we have it's finally Van's turn, so he is about to hop on this bull to see if he can actually tame this. Now, I feel like Rory should get a picture of this moment because this is hilarious. She cannot believe that he is sitting here on this mechanical bull. So she's going to take a photo of him just being flipped around like crazy. It's not a good picture, but it's one from behind, and she feels like this is something that she has to keep for her memory's sake. Like, this is so funny. <laughs> But Rory wanted to send this video of him riding the bull to his parents because he was like, I just want to remember this moment too. This is intense. He had no idea that this bull was this strong, but I think that he's doing pretty good. He's ho holding on pretty well, but oh, oh, oh my God, Van, are you okay? He's like, stupid thing. <laughs> oh my God, he actually failed. <laughs> I think that we should try to scare him and be like, oh, see, I told you it was hard. <laughs> He's not going to believe it, but I think that we should give him a kiss and just tell him, hey, baby, you, you did great. You did great. It's all that matters. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> He's like, I know. Um, but let's go ahead and just give him a kiss. She's like, "You, my, my knight in shining armor, my professional bull rider. He's like, oh, you know it. <laughs> I think that it's time for us to go home. It's already 1.50 in the morning. And again, we have to wake up early and take care of the ranch animals. If we did not have these responsibilities, it would be different. But the so Van's up early this morning. He's going to let his girlfriend sleep in because Rory actually got a little drunk. Now, they were supposed to come home and go straight to bed. But as I've been saying, they haven't seen each other in quite some time so they wanted to stay up they wanted to talk they broke into that bottle of wine that van brought and they noticed another bottle of wine on the shelf but they didn't want to crack it open because they didn't know what exactly the bottle of wine was to represent and rory didn't know if it was her grandmother's or not but they had a really long discussion and they just got into the wine and she ended up getting a little bit more drunk than expected and so she's sleeping in today but van feels like he can actually take care of this farm on his own he's like you know what i did it yesterday i know what to do i can handle it so he's gonna come out here and tend to the animals these little mischievous things oh my god 
I promise you guys, I lock them every single day, but they seem to escape and I really don't know. I think that it's something going on, but I'll figure it out later. I'll look into it. Um, but let's just go ahead and get these little cuties cleaned up. They're so, so dirty. I don't know what they do in their spare time. Um, we definitely change this and clean this all the time. As you guys can see, it's clean. So there should be no reason as to why they get so gross, but they do, you know, it's okay. Um, so we're going to clean chai and we're also going to clean up peach. Peach is so cute. I mean, they're all cute, but <laughs> I really love the name peach. I love all these names. I really mean it. You guys did a great job with suggesting them. And I am so thankful because I could not have been this creative. Like chai, chai is so fitting for this one. Like you look just like a chai tea latte. <laughs> So Rory is feeling terrible this morning. She's so hungover and she realized that she overslept and she was panicking. She's ready to come out here and take care of these animals. But then she saw Van was out here taking responsibility on his own. And he's smiling and he's like, hey, sleepyhead, um, did you sleep good? And I feel like she's going to do an impression. And in that sense, I mean that she's probably mocking him and she's like, yes, yeah, sleepyhead, I did sleep good. You know, they're just going to tease each other. She's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but you know, you're the who opened the bottle of wine last night <laughs> he's like babe it's okay i really don't mind helping you and she's like thank you and he's like you look good and she's like you look good too i i appreciate you being here and you know i'm just i'm thankful because it's been really hard he's like baby i'd do anything for you like <laughs> I don't mind coming out here and listening to all this ranch music and doing the cowpoke with you. It's It's been really fun. Um, but we are going to also take care of Cookie. He really does enjoy this now. Now he wants to move out here. Um, but unfortunately, as I stated in the first episode, he still has to wait until he's able to exit his internship, which is a whole year. So if he could just wait out a year, maybe he could move out here. But, you know, who's to say things? won't go different between them and their relationship because a year is a long time especially doing long distance so we'll have to see how things play out for them um because i think when van arrived i saw it briefly because i was like what does that pop up but down here where it says happy there was also another moodlet that said that he was feeling worried and thinking that his significant other was having an affair or something even though both of them are loyal sims i feel like that shows that he still has insecurities and he still worries you know they're far away from each other and she may start to vent to someone else especially in a time like this where she has been mourning her grandmother and so I think that he just worries about that sometimes but you know he's here now so he's trying to embrace this and it's still so early in the day so I think that we're gonna come over here and we're gonna talk to her about possibly going and doing that horse ride thing that she wanted to do so he's going to just have a deep conversation and say hey babe did you want to um go rent those horses she's like I don't have to run a horse i have a horse you need to run a horse <laughs> he's like well you know what i mean um yes yeah. she's like let me look online and check i think that i saw her address and yeah if you're ready to go i mean we can we can head over there for sure <laughs> she's like how romantic a horse ride <laughs> he's like i know the perfect date <laughs> the address that was posted online for the horse renting here in chestnut ridge and i think that rory's like hey babe can you um can you go knock on the door i'll stay out here with cookie and he's like yeah sure um let me go knock on the door and see if they're here but the horse ranch renter is actually none other than Juniper. So I think that what we're going to do is we are going to give a howdy introduction because Van heard that this is the respectable way of introducing yourselves to people here. Um, so he's going to do a howdy introduction. It may not be the best because he's not from here. And she's like, hey, that was, that was pretty good for somebody who's not from this area. You did pretty good. <laughs> she's like, it is kind of funny because you tried the accent and everything. But, but we're so happy to have you. Um, so what brings you here? Are you guys here to rent a horse? Are you interested in wine? And he's like, oh, you do wine too? And, you know, Van really likes to have a glass of wine every now and then. So he's just interested and he's asking her about it. You know, he's, he talks to people effortlessly, whereas Rory, she has to get to know them a little bit. So she's just going to be out here and she's going to sit with Cookie. Like I said, I'm going to mount her so that way we don't lose her or anything. But Van, he just talks to people so easily. He's like, hey, my, um, my girlfriend's outside and, uh, yeah, we really do love wine. So if you want to tell us more, we'd be happy to buy a bottle. 
Um, but yeah, she's like, okay, I'll show you. So he is going to go on a walk with her in the back and she's going to take him out to see her wine. What do you call them? Like wine cellar? <laughs> she's going to take him to see the wine cellar. So let's go ahead and step on back here. She has a lot of horses and they're kind of everywhere right now. So please disregard because uh, I haven't been here to block her fences or anything like that so they're gonna go out back together and take a look juniper's like sorry please excuse the mess um i'm really sorry it's just my life's been hectic you know for a little bit um i just went through a loss and it's just been really hard for me and fans like oh um my girlfriend also has been experiencing loss lately but she told us the wines over here and we could take a look so van's looking at these bottles and he's like oh my gosh she has so many options and he's realizing that this is that juniper's wine that's also at rory's grandmother's house but she told him that he could have whatever bottle he wanted so he decided on the apple nectar and i feel like he's gonna have a deep conversation with her and he's gonna say hey actually we have a bottle of wine at my girlfriend's grandma's house you know he's just gonna talk to her about that um and just kind of get into her description of like who she is and what's going on van is definitely the right one for this conversation because like i said he talks to people so effortlessly and he's easy to go and he's easy to speak with and he just has a good way of communicating um so he's just having this discussion with her and we're going to talk about her interests and just figure out like what she's interested in and how she knew his grand how she knew rory's grandmother and he's like hey um so I was curious, we had a bottle of wine at the house and it had your name on it actually. It's the same one that you told me I could have. And she's like, oh, really? Um, and she's like, I need to excuse myself for a second. I think that him bringing up Aileen has kind of made her uneasy and she just wanted to walk away and start something else. So she's over here just pretending to check the grill, just everything around the, the ranch. And I think that he you yeah, know he he's gonna pry and some of you might be like that's kind of rude he shouldn't be doing that but he's gonna pry a little bit um on a more sensitive level you know he's just gonna get to know her and he's just gonna say oh um i'm sorry i upset you i was just curious like what was your relationship with her like how did you guys know each other and i'm sure that rory's out here and she's like what is taking him so long to rent a horse <laughs> like we've been out here for a while now um but he has come to find out that aileen is showing him some pictures and she's like he was she was actually um she was my girlfriend and we were together for a while and he's like oh really and she's like yeah you know i loved her i loved her so much and she was kind of sad on that note but she's trying to change the conversation again and she's like so you're here about the horses right and he's like yeah i'm i'm sorry to um upset you i just get a little carried away and I'm, i apologize i'm stupid she's like you're not stupid <laughs> um you're just curious so yeah let's let's go get you a horse you can have fun with your girlfriend and go on a ride okay so van decided on a horse and he decided on daisy right here he is so excited to introduce himself to her because he's never like i said he's never been on a horse before so he's gonna slowly approach her with like just this little just a little scratch you know something small and then we will get into trying to mount her which i'm sure won't be as graceful <laughs> it'll probably be like how rory was when she first got back on cookie um but oof, he's like well this is a big horse <laughs> <laughs> pretty big horse here oh, he's probably kind of nervous too so he's like um how's it going how's it going he he was told to take his time with daisy because daisy is a little bit strong in her personality and i mean juniper was like you sure you want you want um <laughs> daisy she's a, she's a little different um but he's so sure he was like oh my god she looks so majestic i definitely want daisy um so he's just chit-chatting trying to become comfortable with the horse and daisy is happy that all her needs are met okay good and it says that they just became good friends so he's not understanding why juniper said that daisy was a little complex and more challenging because he's handling this pretty well but he knows that he's had rory outside for far too long so he is going to mount this horse and we're gonna go on our ride together oh my gosh she's so pretty look at him he's like oh my god oh. <laughs> not very graceful but he was able to manage so let's go out here with rory he's gonna come out just so happy oh my god look at him <laughs> he just <laughs> and he's freaking out a little bit he's like oh 
oh my god <laughs> he's like maybe this is what she meant by this horse can be a little challenging but Rory's like hey what took you so long he's like I'm so sorry um we were just in a conversation and he does not want to bring this up right now and that is only because he doesn't want to upset or change the mood for Rory they they are so cute they finally got onto this trail Juniper actually recommended it for them because she was like oh my gosh I used to go there all the time it's a really nice trail you guys should check it out the view is very rewarding at the end and I think that you all will enjoy it so we're out here now even though Van's not super graceful <laughs> Rory isn't either Rory is still so new to this horse riding thing because it's been a long time since she's been on Cookie and it's just some some getting used to like they both are going to be riding pretty awkwardly right now so please just ignore the fact that they're bumping and being thrown everywhere but she's like wow she said I was making fun of you but man I'm still pretty rusty but she actually has recently hit level two just now so that's actually really good that means that she's slowly going to be getting better and I I think that Van is about to reach level two as well. He's moving a lot faster than I thought also. Um, but they're just they're just on this ride together. Cookie has actually reached endurance level two. That's really good as well. Cookie will now become less fatigued when using horse barrels or jumps. Okay, so maybe some horse training is in Rory's future or like those competitions, but I don't know. I don't see Rory as the type of girl to, or horse owner rather, to enter these competitions and you know, have her horse do all those things, you know, she's just not into it. Um, but wow, this view, the scenic is just amazing. She's like, wow, she was not lying. This is gorgeous here. Even though they're both being thrown around on these horses and it's just a bumpy ride, they're still enjoying themselves and they're happy that they came out here together. We're going to have to get some pictures once we reach this area over here. I had them walk, I think down here. So we're about to get to where we need to be. And I was looking for the waterfall but I can't remember exactly where it is but this is fine this is good um so let's get them both off their horses they're both gonna demount right now because they just want to sit and they want to talk and they're so cute look at them <laughs> I can't um but let's go over here and let's just tell Rory you know let's just talk to her and kiss her hands and everything just be romantic he's like babe this has been so much fun I don't even want to go home and she's like I know I don't want you to leave either um but you have to go back to work he's like I know I know um but I could dream right <laughs> um but let's tell her a dramatic story and he's like but what if I just get into it with my boss again and they call the cops he's like then I can come back right <laughs> He's like, I'll just start this whole altercation. He's just making up scenarios in his head. He's being silly, trying to make her laugh. And she's like, please, please don't get in trouble when you go back home. That would not be good. Um, but yeah, he doesn't want to ruin the mood right now. But I think that he will bring up the fact that he did talk to Juniper and he found out what he found out. But just not right now. He just feels like this is still so fresh and he doesn't want to upset her or anything. I want you guys to leave in the comments down below. Do you think that he should tell her? like later down the road do you think that he should text her call her when he's left and let her know but I personally feel like this is something that's I don't know if it's I'm trying to gauge it as if this is something super heavy and he should be you know talking to her in person about it or if this is something that's just casual and he could be like hey I found out you know Juniper was actually your grandma's girlfriend uh so let me know what you guys think down below but I am going to go ahead and stop this episode right here I like to leave these pretty spaced out because I like to ask you guys how you feel and what you're thinking so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like comment down below don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat if you aren't one already i had so much fun with you guys today and i will talk to you all in the next episode bye everyone know.